Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the channel. I'm very happy to be back. Last week was very, very intense, but we're back with a very interesting surprise. And that's the fact that Substance Painter just dropped this out of nowhere and they just introduced a new thing called the hand painted or the stylized filters for our textures. Now, of course, we're completely in love with Arcane and all of this like new stylized wave that we've been seeing in the industry. And I knew this. I knew that once we started seeing like really high quality productions, we were going to start pivoting away from hyper realistic stuff and into more stylized things. I personally, and I've said this before, I prefer the stylized stuff because I feel it's a little bit more timeless than the realistic that always feels like it's getting better and better as we improve with technology. But now this is super important because there's going to be a lot of people who want to learn about hand-painted stuff, you know, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, all of this, like very, very interesting textures. So I'm going to tell you here, and I'm going to tell you right now without any further ado, that this is not magical, okay? Let me show you what I mean by this. I'm going to drop right here a very simple layer, and this is just going to be a color layer that we did a couple of months ago with this model right here. Let's go to the channel. You can see this is what we have. So all of this information is painted on the color map. There's no normal map. There's nothing. And this is something that if you've seen the hand paint and style video that I did a couple of years ago, you can very quickly emulate here inside of um, Substance Painter. This will get you to a nice point. It will get you there. And to use the filters is very simple. Right click. Add a filter right here, and then on the filters, make sure that this is only modifying the color. Go all the way down and click this stylization button right here. And it will automatically, as you can see, change this thing. I'm going to be honest. I do feel like if you don't tweak any of the settings, it does look a little bit too much, like very heavy-handed on the, on the style. It does remind me a little bit of AI style, right, where it looks a little bit like a mess, a little bit blurry, but it's not bad. It's not giving us a bad result. It's giving us an interesting sort of like brush stroke effect. There's presets, of course. For instance, we have this hand-painted style that you can see it's going to give us a little bit more contrast right here. We can try it, for instance, at this like outlines. It's going to give us some like a nice, interesting dark lines. There's even one that has this very interesting cell shading effect that you can see more so like dark lines there on our character so you can pretty much check any of this ones the neon ones of course very very crazy this looks very arcane like right and the cool thing is you can select any of these filters and then play with the stylizations which is kind of like a sort of like um, intensity of the effect, right? And as you can see, it's blending with the original colors. We can reduce the amount of brush strokes, for instance, that we have. If we have more brush strokes, it's gonna look a little bit more painterly. We can play with the smoothness, depending on how harsh or soft we want the effects to be. We can change the colorized variation so that we get either more or less color. There's a gradient that we can use so that we affect more parts of the object or less parts of the object. There's a lot of things. Like I was honestly not expecting to see this much like options that we were gonna have here. For instance, if we go to the brush strokes we can change the amount of strokes that we have and again it gives us a very very nice effect is this going to be like the killer of hand painted textures no like i don't think people are just going to be able to use this tool and apply to blizzard and get into the team like that's not going to happen because of course there's always changes there's always tweaks there's always modifications that you need to do and here's the secret about this kind of stuff my friends if you add or if you work more with this kind of tools before you applaud, apply the automatization, you are going to get better results. So let me show you. This is, if you remember, again, the mind flare that we did a couple of uh, years ago. There's the live stream in case you want to check it out. And we have all of these layers that make up this texture that I'm going to admit is not the best texture out there, but it's definitely giving us something that looks a little bit more interesting, right? There's a little bit of more highlights here, a little bit more of like surface description, just a little bit more, something that we did quickly during one of our live streams. If I bring that texture in, if I bring that color into the element, we should be able to get a way, way better result. Because now if I add, let's turn this off just to make sure that we don't see anything else. If we add the filter and we add the stylization, it can definitely be that sort of like final pass that we do. Let's go for the hand painted style, for instance. It can definitely be one of those things that we can utilize to generate a little bit more information, okay? Now, one important thing, you're gonna see down here that we are actually looking for an ambient occlusion, a curvature, and a normal base that we could use to influence this elements a little bit more. So let me load them real quick. So now that we have the maps, all of the normal maps that we get, there should be a little bit more control that we can use. For instance, here on the etching cavities, we can either sharpen the color, right? Generate a little bit of a different effect, increase the surface, sharpen right here. And again, it's, it's something interesting. I don't think, and hopefully you don't take this out of context, my friends, I don't think this is gonna replace all of the amazing work that people that do hand-painted uh, stuff 
like do all the time right like they're not it's not gonna replace them but it's gonna definitely give us a little bit of uh of a like starting point that we could use right so if you're starting with hand painted stuff then i strongly recommend you try this out but just keep in mind that this will only get you so far and we've been talking about this plenty in the last couple of years about how technology keeps moving forward and that brings the floor the skill floor lower and lower but the ceiling is still very very high so it's up to you as an artist on how you utilize these tools to get to the next level right to get to the next result there's a couple of elements like this one right here this one is the sunny lighting or the shiny lighting that adds a little bit of color into the whole thing and again if we bring this in we're going to be able to blend it with the original element and just get a very interesting effect so i'm not saying that all of these filters right here are just going to be like impossible to use or they're not going to be useful at all they're definitely a good way to at least in my opinion generate some interesting results but it should not be something that you just use and forget about like i would still take this into 3d code or back into 3d code and keep adding or modifying or tweaking or sharpening specific parts of the model to really make it shine so yeah that's it guys this is short video for today i'm getting back on track and making sure i can keep uploading more stuff for you my friends if there's anything that you want to know about these filters or a little bit about the process feel free to let me know here in the comments but if not there you go the latest update here in substance will have this stylization filters that can give you a very very nice look for your objects but don't forget your fundamentals your skills and all your knowledge is still very important to take this to the next level that's it my friends don't forget always learning always improving and i'll see you back in the next one